Big Slick here, and today I'm going to show you two ways to find out whether you have real germanium diodes, 1N34A or 1N60, or whether you have fake Chinese shot key diodes that are masquerading as real germanium diodes. Easy way to check to see if you have real germanium diodes, 1N34A or 1N60. Use one of the component testers that are readily available and very affordable, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to know. It'll tell you the forward voltage, which should be below 300 millivolts, and it'll show you that the diode has reverse leakage. Okay, what you will see here is you see reverse leakage in the microamp range. It usually will be around 1. You see the forward voltage at 269 millivolts, and you see no capacitance. You want to see something similar to that. Below 300 milli millivolts of forward voltage, no capacitance, and around 1 microamp of leakage. You need to see leakage or you don't have a germanium. Diode, forward voltage, 270 millivolts, leakage, 0 0.83 microamps, no capacitance indicated. There again shows you you have a real 1N34A germanium diode. Diode, 250 millivolts forward voltage, 0 0.5 microamps of leakage, no indication of capacitance. Proper germanium diode. This is the easiest way to test to see if you have a real germanium diode. Here is a fake Chinese 1N60. You will see the forward voltage drop is at 357, which is in the 300s. That's the key parameter you're going to look at. Leakage is only in the nanoamps, not in the microamps. And you see a capacitance reading, which you will not see on the real germanium diode. Testing with the second component tester. There again, you have the forward voltage drop in the 300s. You see a capacitance reading on it, and you're in the nanoamps. And on this M tester, it doesn't read capacitance, but you're in the 300s in the voltage drop, and you're in the nanoamps on leakage. Fake 1N34A. 342 millivolts of drop. You read capacitance, nanoamps of leakage. Fake 1N34A. 340 millivolts of drop, capacitance reading, only nanoamps of leakage. 330 millivolts of drop, nanoamps of leakage. Using just those two parameters alone, all of these testers will correctly identify the fake germanium from the real germanium. Okay, first you see what the sine wave looks like for a real 1N34A. Now I will show you what the sine wave looks like for a fake 1N34A. Okay, that is a fake 1N34A Chinese shot key diode passing off as a germanium. You can see the sine wave is very distorted. So now we will check a 1N60 that is fake. And this shows you what a fake 1N60 looks like. And so that is the sine wave test for finding out whether you have a real germanium diode or a fake one.